Okay, so this is the first time I'm doing a video like this because I don't actually go for a lot of art supplies that I'm not used to. But I recently bought this brush pen set from a store nearby. I'm not sure if it's everywhere in the world or not. So this store, uh, Hema, is where I bought these brush pens. And they come in like a set of 24 and they have these little brush things which you know you fill with water and I have another one of those I think I've explained it in a different video but look I love these and this one is flat and I've never had a flat one of these and I'm so happy about it okay this ah look at it oh, I love it okay so I'm gonna swatch all of these colors because I've never done that before, surprisingly, because I've always worked with acrylic and I didn't really like anything else because, you know, I was picky and right. I also worked with watercolor a bit, but I never swatched that because um, I just wanted to see how it works. You can see in one of my other videos and you can clearly tell I have no practice with watercolor. Anyways. This is a sketchbook that I'm using. I just bought it a few days ago. It's an A5. These are the details. And it's um pretty thick paper. So I think it'll work out for this in like a good way. So here, I'm going to start from this side and go this way. And we'll see. Also, these do not have numbers, but they're pretty specific colors, so I don't think I'll get very confused by them. Oh my god, this feels amazing. I've never used a brush tip before, which sucks because now I'm realizing it's so amazing. It's like... I understand why people use these all the time now. Like, honestly, I wanted to try using it from one of uh, Drawing With Waffles videos because she uses brush tips a lot, brush tip pens a lot, and I really like them and they seem good. And this doesn't seem like it's going over itself. Like, when I do that, it seems like it goes into itself. It doesn't make streaks. The statement that I literally just said two seconds ago about the streaks, yes, I will soon find out when I'm doing my tiny drawing that in reality that is incorrect and honestly very streaky brushes. I still like them though. So another thing I really like about these brushes is that the back color actually kind of matches the color that it comes out as. And I don't know, maybe I haven't used brushes like these in a really long time or any thing of this sort except paint but I haven't seen that before but it's kind of nice Sorry, I did a little um, writing there with the black brush pen because I was excited. And um, so I'm just going to go look on Pinterest right now, look for some inspiration from all these swatches and come back and do a little drawing or something so I can test these brushes that I just got.
right about here you can see where I've uh, so I started drawing a little mushroom person who's holding a frog and they look kind of cute together even though this drawing looks surprisingly scary so I just did a little um, swatch there to see how the colors combine with each other and like how they go on top of each other I'm not very good at this as you can clearly see and you can see the streaks now of what I was talking about before and um, you can see it more clearly while I'm drawing the stem of the mushroom. But I'm going to try to fix that by like combining the colors with each other. Because when they're wet, it's really easy for you to like combine them with each other without it's like without a noticeable change. So uh, I kind of <laughs> make that mistake a little bit down the road. But right now, um, after I'm done with the little frog, who I have not named yet, but I will come up with a name for uh, so right now I'm using the darker beige on top of the lighter one to see how it goes with each other. And I just put black on top of wet brush color. So now it's spilling all around and I think I might have just ruined it with the eyes. But I'm hoping it'll still be cute. I mean, it kind of is like in a really messy way. But we'll see. So right about here, I think maybe to do the outlines, I'm going to use a Micron pen. I'm using the 0.05 to do tiny details everywhere, like the bottom part of the mushroom cap and the outline around the frog and stuff. And I think I've decided to name them Tommy and Wilbur. I don't know who Tommy is and who Wilbur is, but I don't know why I feel like those names go right now. So that's it. I'm just gonna sign and write the date. I think it's the 23rd. And um, so that's it for this painting. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.